it's Melissa from the Penny and Public Library, and welcome to Miss Melissa Story Times. Today we have a special guest. Hi. This is my daughter Kat, and she wanted to be here for our very first story time together mm -hmm. to help you learn our songs and follow along. So some of you have know me and have seen me before. You come into the library, you've had a story time with me, and for some of you, this is brand new. And to our new friends, I want to say welcome. 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 And I'm so excited that we get to share this time together. So every time we do story time, we'll start with our hello song and it's always the same song. Kat, would you like to help me with it? Yes. All right. We're going to say, hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. It's time to say hello. Okay, you want to try that with me? So this is the sign for hello. This is the sign for friends. Time to say hello. Ready? One, two, three. We'll say hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. It's time to say hello. We will always have a theme, and this week's theme is mystical, mythological, crazy creatures. <laughs> or in other words, awesome creatures. Awesome creatures. So our first book we're going to read today is called The Legend of oh, Rock, Rock, Paper, Paper Scissors. Scissors. And this is by Drew Daywalt. All right, so let's get started. Long ago, in an ancient and distant realm called the Kingdom of the Backyard, there lived a warrior named Rock. Rock was the strongest in all the land, but he was sad because no one could give him a worthy challenge. Rock traveled to the mysterious forests of over there by the tiger swing, where he met a warrior who hung on a rope holding a giant's underwear. Look at that. Drop that underwear and bet me, you ridiculous clip man. I will pinch you and make you cry, Rock Warrior. Rock versus Clothespin. Who wins? Rock is it's victorious. victorious. Even though he had won, Rock was still unsatisfied. So he journeyed on to the mystical tower of Grandma's favorite apricot tree. And there he was met by an odd and delicious fruit. You, sir, look like a fuzzy little bot. What? I challenge you to a duel. Fine, then let us battle. <sighs> Rock versus entertained but the battle had been too easy so rock left the kingdom of backyard still in search of a worthy foe meanwhile in the empire of mom's home office on a lonely and windswept desk mountain a second great warrior sought the glory of battle and his name was paper even though he was the smartest warrior in all the land, he was also sad because no one could outwit him. He set out across Desk Mountain to find his match, and there he met a large and square monster. I gobbled up the likes of you and spit you out every day, little paper. Oh, then taste my fury, giant fox monster. Paper versus computer printer. Paper is victorious. victorious. Having beaten the fiercest fighter of Desk Mountain, Paper climbed down to the pit of office trash bin, where he battled the most terrifying horde of creatures in all the land, the half-eaten bag of 
Railbird! Ah! Paper versus Heavy and Bag of Trailmen! I follow the wizardy blotted out the sun. Run for your lives, laddies! <laughs> Paper wins again. Can no one beat me? And so, with a heavy heart, Paper departed the empire of Mom's home office. At the same time, in the kitchen realm, in a tiny village of junk drawer, there lived a third great warrior. We called her Scissors. Scissors. And she was the fastest blade in all the land, and she too was unchallenged. And on this day, her first opponent was a strange and sticky circle man. Let us do battle, you tacky and vaguely circle man. I will battle you, and I will leave you beaten and confused with my adhesive and tangling powers. What did she battle? That's right, she battled tape. Who would battle tape? Scissors versus roll of tape! Scissors, Scissors is victorious. victorious. Scissors forged across the kitchen realm to the frigid waste of the refrigerator freezer, and there she met her most fearsome adversaries yet. Dinosaurs! Made, made of frozen, frozen bread and chicken! I have come from far reaches of the kitchen to battle you, oh bizarre and yummy breaded dinosaurs! Bow before our child pleasing shapes and flavors, sword master! No one can resist our crunchy awesomeness! Scissors versus dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets! Dinosaur shaped Chicken nuggets win? No, wait! No, they no. don't! Scissors is victorious again! I am so good that not even dinosaur chicken nuggets can beat me! And so scissors, like rocks and paper before her, traveled beyond her own kingdom, seeking out a challenger who was her equal. Then one day in the great cavern of two-car garage. Rock and scissors came face to face. I hope you're wearing your battle pants, rock warrior. If by battle pants you mean no pants but I am willing to fight you, then yes. Yes, I am wearing my battle pants. Rock versus scissors! An epic and legendary battle ensued, but ultimately, Rock is victorious. You have made me so happy by beating me. I wish I felt your joy, scissors, but for I have yet to meet a warrior who can beat me. Hi there. Those are fighting words. Wait, what? Rock versus paper. This is the best day of my life. Thank you for winning a great night of paper. It's fine for you, but it looks as though no one will ever beat me. Not so fast, paper. Wait, what? Scissors versus paper. You beat me. And the three great warriors hugged each other and danced for joy and they became fast friends. And finally, they had met each other's matches. They were so happy, in fact, that they began to battle again. Round and round they went in the most massive and epic three-way battle of all times. And it's said that the joyous struggle still rages on this very day. And that is why children around the world, in backyards, on playgrounds, and yes, even in classrooms, still honor the three great warriors by playing... Rock! Paper! Scissors! Snip, snip, snip. The end. So can you do it? So how do we do it? We go rock, rock paper, scissors. Then when we play, we go like this. We go rock, rock paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, we have the same one. Ready? Rock, rock paper, scissors, shoot. Ah, ha, ha, I win. Oh, no. All right. So now we're going to sing a song. And this is called the rocket ship song. All right, friends. So we do this with our hands. We're gonna take a trip in a rocket ship. Ready? We go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you'd like to take a trip, climb up in my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Can't. Where do we go next? I think we go to the stars. We do go to the stars. We say 
Far, 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 we're going to the stars. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. If you'd like to take a trip, climb up in my rocket ship. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. We go one more place before we come home, and that is the sun. The sun. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. If you'd like to take a trip, climb up in my rocket ship. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. Now, we're going to get ready to blast off. So we have to count down from five. We say five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Ready? You want to do it one more time? We say five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Awesome job, friends. We have one more book to read, and it's called If You're a Monster and You Know It. Roar. Roar. Does anybody know the song If You're Happy and You Know It? It's going to be to the same tune, all right? And Kat is going to show us all the moves, and you can follow along. Ready? If you're a monster and you know it. If you're a monster and you know it, snort and growl. If you're a monster and you know it, snort and growl. If you're a monster and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're a monster and you know it, snort and growl. Can you do it? Snort and growl. Ready? There it is. Look at those snorting and growling monsters. Now, if you're a monster and you know it, smack your claws. If you're a monster and you know it, smack your claws. If you're a monster and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're a monster and you know it, smack your claws. All right, ready? Smack them. There we go. Look at that monster. Now we're going to say, if you're a monster and you know it, stomp your paws. If you're a monster and you know it, stomp your paws. If you're a monster and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're a monster and you know it, stomp your paws. What about that one? Look at those big paws stomping. Stomp. All right. If you're a monster and you know it, twitch your tail. Twitch, twitch. If you're a monster and you know it, twitch your tail. Twitch, twitch. If you're a monster and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're a monster and you know it, twitch your tail. Twitch, twitch. <laughs> How big do you think this monster's tail is? Whoa. Whoa! That's bigger than our cat's tail. It is. If you're a monster and you know it, wiggle your warts. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. If you're a monster and you know it, wiggle your warts. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. If you're a monster and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're a monster and you know it, wiggle your warts. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Ooh, that's a warty monster. Ooh. All right. If you're a monster and you know it, give a roar. Roar! If you're a monster and you know it, give a roar. Roar! If you're a monster and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're a monster and you know it, give a roar. Roar! Oh, look at that roar. roar. That would be scary. All right. If you're a monster and you know it, do it all. Are you ready? Snore, growl, smack, smack, stomp, stomp, twitch, twitch. Oh, we gotta twitch our tails first. Oh, oh, twitch our tail, twitch, twitch. Wiggle your warts. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And roar. 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 Let's go a little bit faster. Ready? If you're a monster and you know it, do it all. Snore, growl, smack, smack, stomp, stomp, wiggle, wiggle. Show it if you're a monster and you know it. Do it all. You ready, Cap? Snore, growl, smack, smack, stomp, stomp, twitch your tail, wiggle, wiggle. Roar! roar! Let's hear your roar. Ready? Can you roar? One, two, two three, roar! That's the greatest monster roar I've ever heard. Two thumbs way, way up on that one. All right, friends, let's do one more song before we go. What should we do? You want to do Slippery Fish? Yeah. All right. This is another song that has some sign language. As, as the year goes on, you're going to get to learn all the spots. So what we have is a fish. Put your fish together, see? And we're going to make it swim. 
and we sing our song like this. We say, slippery fish, slippery fish, swimming in the water. See, this is how the sign is for water. Slippery fish, slippery fish, gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no! He was eaten by, see eaten. What was he eaten by, do you remember? I think it was. This is our sign for octopus. Ready? We go. An octopus, an octopus, swimming in the water. An octopus, an octopus, go, go, go. Oh no! He was eaten by. What's that? Do you remember? A jellyfish. A jellyfish. So put your hand out like this. We're gonna make it swim. We're gonna say a jellyfish, a jellyfish. Swimming in the water, a jellyfish, a jellyfish, gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no! He was eaten by. What's next? Da -da 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 -da. A great white shark. A great white shark. A great white shark. Swimming in the water, a great white shark. A great white shark. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Here's your ocean, and here it comes. An enormous whale, enormous whale, swimming in the water. Enormous whale, enormous whale, gulp, gulp, gulp. Excuse me. <laughs> All right, friends. So you have two stories and two songs, and I will see you again soon. Now at the beginning we said, hello, hello friends. friends. What do you think we do at the end? That's right, we say, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends. It's time to say goodbye. I can't wait to see you next time. Until then.